And graphene is a, a one atomic layer thick uh, sheet of carbon. Imagine that you can take a single layer of graphite, which is this very soft material, and with you have this very thin layer, which is, I think, around 1,100 times smaller than the thickness of your hair. Even though it's so thin and has therefore mainly no weight, it's uh, fantastically conductive. In 2013, the Commission has launched the 1 billion European Graphene Flagship Initiative. Thanks to this flagship, Europe has become the epicenter of the world in research and development in graphene and in a very wide range of uh, bidimensional materials. The flagship was a very beautiful uh, success that is that of bringing together academy and industry and in this way we were able to develop novel applications. We actually made some efforts on our own together with some universities in Sweden to, to electroplate a metal graphene composite but in practice we never really got it to work but then we came in contact with graphene flagship and and we uh, got a, a system that actually uh, lived up to our expectations. So one out of three people have a neurological related disorder and they don't respond to drugs. So we use these neuroelectronic therapies, which is a small implant in uh, disease areas like Parkinson, epilepsy, but also more in the brain-computer interface to create a speech. We are uh, in the segment of ultrafiltration and microfiltration and this membrane behaves as a sieving by sieving mechanism. With graphene, we can achieve the possibility to remove these emerging contaminants, like antibiotics or lead, for example. I believe that in the next year, we will see uh, graphene uh, more and more, of course, in. Uh, let's put it this way, low-tech products. That's something that we have also seen in the last years. But what I like to see is graphene getting more into high-tech product and really impacting our world in a more significant way. Every leap in humanity has been linked to a key material from Stone Age to Silicon Age. We believe that graphene and bidimensional materials are the breakthrough. We are funded by the European taxpayers and it's only a reasonable expectation uh, by the taxpayers that uh, they will get a return of investment. Uh, that uh, can only happen if you can uh, take your uh, research findings and uh, take them from the academic laboratories to society in, in uh, many different ways. And that's exactly what we have been doing quite successfully over the last 10 years. This flagship has delivered dozens of spin-offs, patents, products, as well as a very large number of scientific publications. It has thus created a large technology transfer highway, allowing industry to rapidly absorb and exploit all the scientific discoveries and move from the lab to the farm and then to the market.